Now we'll just do this until the game breaks. We'll just pay close attention to that frames per second on the right side. I didn't have the luxury of that before, so I didn't really know how far I could push it. We're down to 11 frames per second. Here we go again, another stupid project. And we have to start from this little graph today because for some reason my old file won't load. And that's not a big deal in the end because look how smoothly the game is running right now. The first thing I need to do today is give myself a little more surface area so I can add some stuff. Not only that, but also give myself a little bit of insulation from the shark because he's going to be eating the raft and I'm not really going to do anything to stop it. Then we need one of these to get us moving. Moving. Now it's not the prettiest setup, but it's gonna get us where we're going. And it's lonely on this raft, so let's have a couple llamas hanging out with us for a little while. Not really sure what they do if they don't have any fences to keep them on, but they'll take care of themselves. Wait, did we lose one already? Why did he- he probably liked the island. You know what, you can go too then. Go be with your friend. I'm not feeding you, get off. Go off my raft. Whoops, uh oh. Yeah, they'll probably be fine. Anyways, my great goal today is to make an island disappear. I'm gonna build all the way around it, and it's going to be a bigger island than that one. Though, so hopefully there's one out here somewhere. I'm moving as fast as I possibly can be right now in the hopes of spawning one. Well, since we don't yet have one on the horizon, and I can still see that one pretty clearly, we might have to do something different. Because it turns out we can just spawn ourselves an island, so let's see what a small one looks like. Island successfully spawned. Now where is it? Okay, that's a little bit bigger than the last one, but we're probably gonna need a medium. And we can no longer see the island behind us, so it just gets out of render distance by the time we find this one. And we've made it. So this island definitely not big enough. I could make this one disappear, build all the way around it, but that's just not big enough for me. It wouldn't take that long. Plus, I kind of want one with, you know, animals and stuff. Anything at all. This one's just got some leaves on it. Look what just popped up on the horizon. That might actually be the perfect island, and I didn't even have to spawn that one in. Even this one, I'm not quite sure if it's big enough, so we'll take a closer look. And why aren't you making sound anymore? I haven't even done anything yet, and the game's falling apart. Honestly, I don't think this one's big enough either. It's nice and tall, but I don't think it has a big circumference, like it wouldn't take that long to build around this and make it disappear. Let's go take a closer look. You, keep up the good work. He's biting the raft, he's not biting me. I mean, it's pretty big, I guess. There's nothing exciting on it, though. It's just a big rock. So what happens if we spawn a big island? How big is big? Okay, cool. That was right in the spot I was. That's no problem. This one might work better. This is a nice size island. Oh, the bird is here. That's going to make things way more difficult. Already, it's trying to make life difficult for me. And I'm trying to decide if this island's going to work. It's really big. Also, fun fact, I think I'm going to spawn the island over top of my raft because the island is so big. So my raft might actually be down there right now. Yep, my raft is definitely gone. I had walked like 50 feet and then spawned this island. So the raft is probably right under the center of the island. So I got to restart again. Just kidding. I can actually delete the island and then my raft is back. It was directly under the center of the island. Luckily, it seems a shark was on the far side of the island when I did that because he should have been eating me this entire time. Well, there he is to welcome me home. That island's not bad. It's a little bit bigger, more interesting. What about this one? Okay, it's about the same size. It's a ship. So then what's the boat? Caravan Island? How big is that one? I might have to start clearing these out because, yeah, they're not spawning. Okay. Clear landmarks, Caravan Island. Oh, okay, it's not here. This one, I'm pretty sure, is the biggest island in the game. I'm not building over this one because I don't have 10 years to do this. So let's take a closer look at this one. Now that I'm closer, I don't think it's big enough. Though it does come with an airplane. And a pilot's helmet. Now I'm sold. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought once I actually get up here. Like, it's a considerable size, so this might work out quite nicely. Considering relative to my little raft already, you can see that it's got some size once you get up close. Now to just kind of figure out how we're actually going to do this. Basically, I'm just going to make a perimeter around the island for now, and we'll kind of start building upwards and inwards from there. Not really sure how I did this, but I brought up all the info in the upper right, so I can actually see my frames per second now. We're currently getting an average of 71. I expect that number to drop considerably by the time we're done this. So if I'm not building anything, the average is up around 80. I haven't even encircled the island yet and I've already gone through 1,000 planks and 1,000 plastic. So I'm going to give myself another 5,000 of each and see how far that gets us. Uh, 6,000 planks. And we're officially connected. And I might have gone a little bit bigger with the perimeter than I had to, but I'd rather have too much room than not enough. The trick now is going to be to find where to start a slope so that it just makes it over the peak of the island. Or it does clear it by some amount. As long as I don't run into the island, it'll be okay. And where I parked my raft isn't too bad. So if I leave the peak there, I've just got to find where to connect to it from that side, which is probably about those weeds. That side's going to be tricky. This side isn't going to be too bad. While I'm at it, let's give ourselves a little platform with the fence. That way our llama has somewhere to hang out. Oops, did I miss the platform? Okay, we need to back up a little bit. Why is it so hard to spawn a llama where I want? There we go. Okay, this is my guiding point. I aim for the llama from all sides and good things should happen. I dropped a few off the edge. Yeah, they're fine down there. Starting to get the scale of it once you take a look from a little further out. And the llama gives it a nice reference too. So I think if we start maybe about here, that might hit it, might not. The only way to know is to try it. We were off by that much. 
That was a really good estimation on my part. But maybe we could have a little more platform up here anyway. Maybe the llama wants a friend. That's fine. There we go. Who doesn't like a goat? And I'm thinking somewhere maybe right here. Strangely, I keep missing the alignment by one, but I was pretty close in every other regard. I would have hit the original one perfectly. All right, we're going to destroy all this and move it over one. So that all collapses really quick. That gives me kind of a fun idea for later. And there we go. Now all I got to build is that one that's going to connect to that space. And then we have kind of the basis of what we're going to do. This one might be a little trickier because I'm going to be building in tight to the island. So stuff might actually be in the way. So I'm going to have to start building up pretty quick regardless. Yeah, this side's going to be a little bit of a problem. I've still got one, two, three spaces to clear probably. I think I could do it, but that's going to be tight. So I need to start building my ramp up there which isn't really looking very promising, but we'll see what happens. And we get to knock this down, which is always fun to watch. Good. Yep. This is going to be a problem. I mean, I could just wait for a really big wave and I'd probably be able to clear that. So this is where things are going to get complicated because I'm going to have to build up like that. And then we're going to have to build a ramp over and then up and then over. And I think that's actually going to work out okay. It's just kind of going to look really stupid once this is all said and done. I was so close. Now the tip of the island is in the way. Seriously? This means we're going to have to take yet another detour. And finally, we got the way to complete this. Now to do that, I just had to do a little jog, but that worked out not bad. Now I just need to fill in all the other space here, which is still 99% of the raft. And then maybe we'll take it higher after that. Got a few different ideas for how I can do this, but the problem is I can still see that island. I want to see nothing but raft. The animals that fell in the water don't really look so good. Are they still alive? I'm going to go ahead and say they're probably not alive. Don't know what happened to them. It's not like they don't have any water to drink. There was a big island right beside them, but no, they wanted to hang out in the water. Now this is where I'm at with things so far. We're building up to the middle. The top isn't really working out the way I thought it was going to. We can still fix that though because I have a different plan for that. But I'm just going to keep building up until we have basically none of this island showing from the outside. We'll potentially also fill this in like this. Hey, what happened to the animals? Are you guys okay? No, I'm sure that rain will rejuvenate them. But also, I don't really like the way they look, so... Oh, okay. Well, they disappear when you hit them with the axe. Not that one. That one just fell. An error occurred times a lot. Uh-oh, is something happening? Do I need to be worried about my raft? I don't think that rain is helping because suddenly we're getting only 40 frames per second. I don't think the game likes to rock this big of a thing back and forth and deal with the rain. Something kind of strange is happening over here. My raft is going into the island and coming back out of it. I don't mind this, but it's going to be a little bit hard to build when it's 30 feet under the island. You know what? I think with a few small adjustments, I can make this top even nicer. I'm just going to kick this whole one back one, so i got to rebuild all of that. But that's not really a big deal. This angle kind of gives you the perspective of what we're going to have at the end. Kind of a big pyramid type thing. It currently has a hole in the middle, and I'm so tired of falling in it already that I'm actually going to fence myself off from that. Now what we've got to do is figure out how to fill in the corners, so that should only take like 40 hours. Okay, that's an easy enough fix. I didn't realize parts like that existed, so now I just gotta build up on both sides and our pyramid's gonna extend out that way. I've got this side more or less done, so this is what it's gonna look like. I still need to fill in the top pieces and then this whole side, but we're starting to get somewhere. Yep, we're making progress. And we're officially out of planks again. I just went through 6,000 more planks, so I think we've used 7,000 total. So let's take another 50,000. That should be more than enough to finish this little project. And the final few pieces for this corner, and that's what it looks like. So that means I'm a quarter of the way done the exterior. That island isn't going to see a lot of sunlight once I'm done. Minor problem with this side. Not so much the trees, but it's that I'm going to have to wait for some bigger waves before I can finish building this. I know the raft will get above this, but I've got to wait for a storm. Now that I got another panel, done we're down to 31 frames per second average so i'm kind of glad i didn't pick a bigger island because i think that would have really boned the game up pretty bad at least as i'm working now i do get a nice view there's one more corner to go plus that little strip getting pretty sick of doing this over and over again looks like we got some waves rolling in the game's probably not gonna like this but this is gonna give me a chance to finish my other panel hopefully it clears it at some point come on big waves oh wait we got one i used to think the waves went more of a pattern now i can see they're kind of random Come on. Yeah, got it. Oh, got another one. And I got it. As soon as the waves are gone, you'll see the rock protruding through the deck. But aside from that, I think I'm all good to build the rest. And just like that, the outside of our pyramid is done. Looks nice in the waves. Definitely getting an average of 30, 29 frames per second. Probably because of the waves. If it wasn't for those, things might be different. But that's what the inside looks like. We'll maybe try and find a way in there. And that was a lot of wood. I took in an extra 50,000. I'm down to 42. So we've used over 10,000 planks so far doing this. 
It feels super weird when I sit on the inside in the waves. It feels like I'm moving, but it's the raft that's moving. I just wanted a bigger raft with a roof, that's all. I don't really like that we can still see the water down within this, so I gotta floor the whole thing. Kinda makes me realize how big this thing actually is when I have to run back and forth across it building the floor. 20 frames per second, it's dropping. Getting a little bit hard to tell where I'm even building at this point. The frames are dropping more and more the more I build. Anyways, that was the end of the floor, and this is what the raft looks like from the inside. Gonna have to cut my way out. It feels weird to stand in here, it really does. The game is definitely not loving this, but we're holding 1920 frames per second, so that's probably a little bit better than I thought it would be. Plus there's waves. Once the waves go away, that might not be so bad. Looking inside, oh, it looks really weird with the floor. I wonder if we detach this, like if this would sail across the ocean halfway. Now that we've got the core of this incomplete, let's see if we can knock off all of these ramps on the outside to hopefully make it behave a little better. 21 frames per second is fine, but it's not going to get any better the more we add. Alright, I've got things mostly detached. There is still the outer perimeter, but it's only attached to the front where my original raft was connecting to it. Because I started to worry that if I disconnect this, it's actually going to keep the raft and destroy everything else. Which would be pretty heartbreaking and pretty amusing all at the same time. So hopefully if I'm standing on this side, it will register that this is the side I want to keep. I have no idea how or if this is going to work. Three more tiles and we're going to find out though. And I did just save my game, so... Nothing happened. I have two separate rafts? There's nothing keeping them connected, yet... They exist. Maybe if a structure is simply big enough, it gets to exist on its own, regardless of if it's connected to the original raft. Because now, like, I'm on a little piece that's all by itself, too. Right, I guess these foundation pieces just can exist by themselves. So they're here to stay. And that's okay, because so is my pyramid. And this is what the top now looks like. I just put a few of the corner pieces to finish it off, basically. We still have a way in if we want to go in. We can just crawl right in there. Whoops. So I feel at this point there's really only one thing left to do. And if you guess spawn a million llamas, you'd be right. There they go. Alright guys, enjoy your new home. There's no escaping from in there. Oh, some are going through the roof. Okay, that's not good. Kind of interesting, but not what I wanted. Okay, we're going to remove some of this roof so they all go where they're supposed to go. Sorry guys, I don't make the rules. I just kind of do things. And good enough. There's another one in. Alright, I should be able to spawn them now without issue. Okay, llama, go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Now we'll just do this until the game breaks. We'll just pay close attention to that frames per second on the right side. I didn't have the luxury of that before, so I didn't really know how far I could push it. We're down to 11 frames per second, 10 frames per second. Keep in mind, I'm not moving right now. So if I stop and move around, I might drop a little bit more. It doesn't feel very good. Basically, I'm going to wait until morning. That way we can actually see what we're doing again, and then we'll really mess with things. Okay, I accidentally fell into the llamas. Uh, that's still pretty amusing, but we need more. Let's see how this positioning works. Llama is in the hole, so let's add a few more in there. In a perfect world, I'd be able to fill the entire thing up until I could just walk across the llamas to the other side of this opening, but I don't think the game's gonna let me go that far. We're down to six frames per second, and I don't know if I want to push it any further than that, otherwise we're really not actually gonna be able to see anything. You can see the llamas down there. They look kind of like ants from way up here. Oh, I fell in. It's very hard to control that. Well, let's uh, take a step back and wade through the llamas and uh, see if we can actually see what's going on here. Here. This low frame rate is really uncomfortable. Considering the raptors moving, the llamas are moving 4 frames per second, the game doesn't love this. There's even a zebra one. Well, I sure feel like I accomplished something today. Not bad for a day's work. I've also just realized there's still something else I can do with all this. I did say earlier that I was curious to see if this thing would actually be able to sail the ocean, but I would have to let it out. Well, now it's out. No more island. You see the shark down there eating my raft. He's gonna be eating good for a while. So now we're free floating in the ocean, I'm just not really sure if we're actually moving. Looks like we might be because debris is going past. So up here at the top, let's figure out which way the wind is going and also put a sail up to hopefully guide us a little bit quicker. The debris fields are moving, so I do think we're moving. If we see an island or something new on the horizon, we'll know for sure, but I'm pretty sure we're moving. That could be interesting in itself because if I was to open up, say, all of this, I could fly right onto an island and absorb it. I'm just really surprised the game is actually letting this like, move through the ocean. Let's spawn ourselves a little island. And there we go. We'll know if we run into it that we are moving. Looks like we're getting closer. Well, that does confirm it. We can move a raft this big, which makes me wonder how big of a raft we can move. Because what used to be an island that would have been way bigger than our raft now looks absolutely tiny compared to our current raft. It does look good, but it doesn't like the waves very much. 